Okay guys, so welcome back again. So in this video, let's do some fun stuff and that is to create loading spinners inside our console. Though we all know that how to create spinners using CSS and HTML, but some of you might don't know that how to create spinners inside our console. So let's demo the application first to see that what we are going to build. So this is the completed project and if we simply do node app.js, then we see that this is the first spinner which we are going to do that is installing loading and we have these three dots here. Then secondly, we'll be making this spinner here. That is an actual spinner as we can see here. And then we'll be making this clock spinner as we can see here that here we have a moving clock. And basically these three spinners use the same code. And later in the video, we'll be doing a progress bar like this. And this is the progress bar which I am talking about. That is which goes from 0% up till 100%. So without wasting any time, let's jump into VS code and let's see that how do we do it. So here inside our VS code, I've created a new application or a new NPM project and inside the package.json file, we simply have a start script here that says node app.js. Though we haven't installed this dependency, so let's do it here. That is the node mod dependency. So it would be a dev dependency. So npm i dash dash save dev. That is node mod like this. And then we need to install one more dependency that is called log update. So let me install that very quickly. So npmi log hyphen update simply like this. So now let's uh, simply run npm run npm start like this. So we see that our application is started. So now let me close this package.json file. And here if we simply make a log statement here that is console.log123 we see that we are getting that inside our console and the application restarted because of nodemon. So first of all, let's require that dependency that says log update. So we'll say const log update equal to require log update like this. And then we need to create our spinner. So firstly, let's see the states of our spinner and we'll call them frames. So let frames and these are the frames for our spinner. So firstly, we are going to create the loading spinner. So we'll say loading like this. Then we have the loading state, another state which says loading dot. And then similarly, we have the two dots and the three dots like this, simply like this. And now we need to make a log statement inside the console at every time interval with these values that is inside this frames array. So it is pretty simple to do. We'll simply use the set interval method like this. So set interval and here we have a function and then we have the time in milliseconds in which we want to run this function. So let's say we provide here 200 milliseconds like this and then we want to do something here inside this function. So let's say we want to log the first thing here that is loading. So what do we do? We can simply get the first thing here that is the first value of this frames array very easily. So we'll say uh, const frame equal to frames and then here we can provide the value by doing something and that something would come from this thing here. So we'll define a variable here that is say let i would be equal to zero not let something but let i should be equal to zero. And then we can simply get that first value from this frames array using this thing here. That is i plus plus. We are getting the first value and mod frames dot length like this. So let's save this. So what do we have here? We are getting the nth element or the ith element of this frames array by this mathematics here. That is i will increase each and every time whenever this function is executed at an interval of 200 milliseconds and it would be starting from zero as it is initially here zero and then when we have we are inside this function here that is when we are calculating this value then i would be one and then we are taking a mod from the frames dot length and the frames dot length is four here so the first value which we'll, we would be getting is this value here that is loading dot and then whenever this function runs again after 200 milliseconds i would be 2 so we are, would, be, would be getting this value here since i that is 2 mod frames dot length is 4 so 2 mod 4 is 2 so we would be getting this value here because arrays are 0 index and then when it is 3 we are getting this value here and then when it is 4 we are getting this value here that is this loading so let's log it inside our console so console.log frame simply like this 
So now let's save this application and let's see what watch what happens. So we see that we are getting loading this thing here, but we are not getting it on the same line. So to do that, what we need to do, we need to use this uh, module here that is log update. So instead of logging it inside the console, we'll simply say log update and here we'll pass in the frame itself like this. So now let's save this. And now we see that we are getting this loading indicator as I've shown you in the demo. So what if we want to change that to a spinner as I've shown you the second spinner. It is very simple to do. Let me make a comment of this thing here. So let's let me make a comment. So now let me define another frames here. So let frames equal to some array and here we can simply pass in the forward tick or the forward slash then we want the dash here and then we want the backslash here so we can use the double slash to escape the backslash and now watch what happens as soon as i save the application we see that we are getting this loading indicator here inside the console and now let's convert this spinner into the clock spinner so let's make a comment here and now let's define our frames array again so frames equal to an array. So now how do we get the clock? It is very simple. We can get the emoji of the clock. So firstly, we want the 12th hour clock. So let's scroll down and here we'll find the clocks. So let me quickly add the clocks first. So where are those? I'm not able to find them. So here we are. So firstly, we want this here. That is the 12 o'clock. And then the second element of this array would be the one hour clock that is at one o'clock. And similarly, we have the two o'clock and so on and so forth up till 11 o'clock. So let me quickly paste them here. So this is the frame array now and these are all emojis here and this method remains the same. So now let's save this application and now we see that we are getting this clock spinner here. So this is how we make these spinners. So now let's look at the second spinner that is the progress bar. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to comment this out from here. Uh, since we are going to create the spinner in this uh, file itself, so let me save this app.js. So nothing is running here right now. So let me give me some room here. So let me give me some room. So firstly, let's go to our completed application and we see that we want these emojis to be fulfilled up till 100%. So these are the characters and these characters are emojis here. So let me define the character here so that you can later on change the character itself. So let or let me make it const const car equal to something here. And for this, I'm going to use an emoji here and it would be this bar thing here like this. And then we'll define some values that is const min equal to zero. That is zero percent. Then const max equal to hundred percent. And then we want to define the steps in which we want to move the progress bar. So const steps equal to five. That is in percentage of five, our progress bar will move. And now let me define here a number that is should be equal to one, not zero, but one like this. And now let me create another method like this. That is set interval. So const m interval. And it is for a reason I'm making this as a constant value. That is m interval should be equal to set interval like this and then we have the function here so let me provide in the function here and the time would be something here and the time let's say we want to move our progress bar every 300 milliseconds like this and then whatever we need to do we need to do it inside this function here so firstly let's say let the progress be equal to an empty thing here so let progress not progress but progress equal to an empty thing here and now what we want to do, we want to, what am I doing here? It should be like this. And now we want to create a for loop. So for let i equal to zero, i is less than num and i plus plus. And once I'll do it, you will get to know that what I am doing here. But for now, let's uh, continue with this thing here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply append this character inside this string that is the progress string and here progress should be plus equal to char that is we are storing this character inside this progress string and now after this what i want to do i want to use the log update method again so i'll say log update like this and here we simply want to display the progress so let's display the progress here and after this what we need to do we need to simply add a number to this number so we'll call it num plus plus like this 
and now we need to check whether we have completed the progress up till 100 so for that what i am going to do i am going to make an if check here that is if num is greater than max by steps because max is 100 percent and our steps is in 5 percent so in each interval we are making a progress of 5%. So therefore, if number is greater than 20, because max is 100, steps is 5, so 100 by 5 is 20. So if number is greater than 20, then what we need to do? We need to simply call a method that is on this log update. So we'll call log update dot done. And then finally, what we need to do? We need to say clear interval like this. And here we need to pass in this variable that is m interval so as to clear out this interval like this so now if we save our application we'll be seeing a progress bar simply like this but it is not as great as this, as this one here that says loading and then in the brackets we have this thing here and we have the percentage also so let's make it that way so for that what we only need to do we only need to change this string so let's make a string here like this so const progress string equal to something and here inside this log update instead of progress we will pass in the progress string that we are going to create and the progress string would be equal to something and that something would be something like this so firstly we have the loading thing here and then we have the open brackets and the close brackets that that is the box brackets and then inside here we want to display our progress so we can use the template string to display the progress and then we also also want to display the percentage so for that we can again use the template string to display the progress uh, percentage so for that we'll simply say num times steps like this so now if we save this we'll get a progress bar similar to the thing that we get inside the console and now we can also put in a percentage here like this so now this is how we do it and now one bonus thing if you do not want to display the percentage here you want to display the percentage here at the bottom of the loading thing here so what you can do we can simply extract this thing out from here that is the percentage like this and here we can make a new line by uh, passing in backslash n and then we can simply paste in, paste in the percentage string here so now if we save this so we see that we have the loading bar here that is the progress bar here and we get the percentage here at the bottom of bottom of this loading thing here so guys this is how easy it is to create the spinners and progress bar inside your console so if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day and have a great year ahead